hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again dear friends hope you are all doing well so we are discussing the model question paper for the mathematics subject for the triple e stream students so far we have discussed the varieties of problems if you have not watched it yet you can go to the description box where i have provided the link okay so today i am with the another question from the model third that is question fifth of, of question number fifth b obtain a half range series sine series for f of x is equal to 1 by 4 minus x for 0 sorry x is greater or equal to 0 less or equal to 1 by 2 x minus 3 by 4 for x is greater or equal to 1 by 2 less or equal to 1 so these are the intervals this is 0 to 1 by 2 is one interval another interval is 1 by 2 to 1 so when the intervals are 0 to 1 by 2 function is 1 by 4 minus x when the intervals are 1 by 2 to 1 function is x minus 3 by 4 so the general formula for the half range sign series is given by f of x is equal to summation of n running from 1 to infinity b n sine of n by x where this b n is the Fourier quotient it is equal to 2 by l 0 to l f of x sine n by x dx right so now the question is here what is this l l is the final interval minus initial interval means suppose if i call it a if i call it b so your l will become l is equal to b minus a l is equal to 1 minus 0 that is l is equal to 1 in this case over here right final initial final minus initial interval right so now let me solve it uh, i have to calculate this bn value so bn is equal to 2 by l l is 1 i can write 2 right integration from 0 to l 0 to l means 0 to 1 okay 0 to 1 f of x is given so i can write down simply first f of x sine of n pi x dx but there are two intervals see 0 to 1 uh, it is broken into two intervals 0 to 1 by 2 1 by 2 to 1 so i can take two functions over here so bn is equal to 2 times 1 by 4 minus x and your sine of sorry sine of n pi x right sine of n pi x so i have to take two functions over here so this is your integration from 0 to 1 by 2 is one function 1 by 4 minus x times sine of n pi x right and dx then plus integration of this 1 by 2 to 1 interval is the another function that is your x minus 3 by 4 multiplied by sine of n pi x right n pi x dx okay this is your function it is break down into two intervals okay now accordingly i have to oversimplify it so i can write down bn is equal to okay bn is equal to 2 times if I integrate it with the help of Bernoulli's rule of integration, okay. So keep this 1 by 4 minus x as it is, 1 by 4 minus x as it is, right? Integration of sine of n pi x. So integration of sine is minus cos of n pi x upon n pi, okay. Then minus differentiation of this term. So differentiation of 1 by 4 is 0, no need to write. Differentiation of minus x is minus 1, okay. Then again you have to integrate this term so integration of minus cos of n pi x by n pi so it is given by minus sine of n pi x divided by n square pi square this is the integration for this term where the intervals are shifting from 0 to 1 by 2 this is the this particular integration right now plus same rule you just apply here for this particular integral so integration of this uh, x minus 3 by 4 sine of n pi x by Bernoulli's rule of integration so make x minus 3 by 4 as it is integration of sine of n pi x integration of sine is minus cos of n pi x divided by n pi okay then minus differentiation of this term so differentiation of x is 1 and uh, 3 by 4 is 0 so no need to write so then again you have to integrate minus cos of n pi x divided by n Pi. okay so it is given by minus sine of n pi x divided by n square pi square this is your integration for the second term so while your limits are shifted from 1 by 2 to 1 okay i hope you are following this is the integration for this term now oversimplified which is equal to 2 times i will take this minus out and n pi out okay minus 1 divided by n pi what i will get with 1 by 4 minus x cos of n pi x okay so limits will be shifted from uh, 0 to 1 by 2 i will separately ap uh, apply the limits for each and every term so that it becomes comfortable for me to integrate it okay so now minus and minus plus and minus is minus okay 
so I will take uh, n square pi square out so 1 divided by n square pi square what I will get with sine of n pi x and limits will be same 0 to 1 by 2 okay so I have taken this n square pi square out sine of n pi x is inside and limits are 0 to 1 by 2 then plus this one this minus I will take out so I can write here minus 1 upon n by pi x minus 3 by 4 cos of n pi x and your limits will be shifted from 1 by 2 to 1 this is your interval okay then minus and minus is plus so I can write here plus sine of n pi x and I will take n square pi square out okay and your limits will be shifted from 1 by 2 to 1 okay up to this I hope this is clear now just apply limits okay upper limit minus lower limit so which is equal to 2 into minus 1 by n pi okay this is your 1 by 4 minus instead of x you have to put down the limit so 1 by 2 is the limit upper limit so 1 by 2 I can write okay cos of n pi instead of x I have to take 1 by 2 so n pi by 2 minus lower limit when I take lower limit so 1 by 4 minus instead of x 0 is there into cos of n pi into 0 is cos of 0 okay I hope you are getting now minus 1 divided by n square pi square just apply upper limit so upper limit is sine n pi by 2 sine of n pi by 2 minus sine of 0 so sine of 0 is 0 so no need to write over here okay so then minus 1 upon n pi upper limit is 1 so 1 minus 3 by 4 okay cos of n pi right minus lower limit lower limit is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 minus 3 by 4 cos of n pi divided by 2 okay so as lower limit is 1 by 2 over here so this is up to this term then this term plus 1 upon n square pi square okay sine of n pi into 1 is sine of n pi so sine of n pi is 0 no need to write then minus lower limit so minus times sine of n pi by 2 this is up to this one okay so here we have this particular format of this after applying limits okay now let me proceed it which is equal to 2 times minus 1 by n pi okay 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 it is nothing but minus 1 by 4 okay cos of n pi by 2 so your calculation should be fast in this case if you are not calculating it with your own head over there so you should use the calculator in the examination if you are stacking okay minus this is your 1 by 4 cos of n pi by 2 minus 1 by 4 okay 1 by 4 cos of 0 is 1 so no need to write then minus 1 upon n square pi square this one sine of n pi by 2 okay as it is sine of n pi by okay then minus 1 upon n pi this 1 minus 3 by 4 it is nothing but 1 by 4 cos of n pi this minus 1 by 2 minus 3 by 4 it is again positive 1 by 4 so I can take plus 1 by 4 cos of n pi by 2 sorry I will take it here plus 1 by 4 cos of n pi by 2 this is up to this much term then plus 1 upon n square pi square minus times sorry this is minus plus is minus so minus times sine of n pi by 2 okay I hope up to this it is clear so which is equal to 2 times see here I will take minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 uh, in these terms cos of n pi by 2 cos of n pi cos of n pi by 2 okay cos terms I am taking minus 1 by 4 common so minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 and this 1 by 4 1 by 4 I will take out that minus into this minus will become positive divided by 4 and also n pi is here so 1 upon 4 n pi okay multiplied by cos of n pi by 2 I have taken this minus 1 out and also this one I have taken out so here I am with 1 okay plus 1 then minus this one cos of n pi as I have taken 1 by 4 common and also I have taken common 1 by 4 here so minus times cos of n pi by 2 okay then minus this is 1 by n square pi square minus 1 by n square pi square sine of uh, n pi by 2 sine of n pi by 2 this becomes 2 times 2 divided by n square pi square sine of n pi by 2 okay 
now this cos of n pi by 2 cos of n pi by 2 will get cancelled which is equal to 2 times 1 divided by 4 n pi okay this is your 1 minus cos of n pi right minus 2 divided by n square pi square sine of n pi by 2 okay i hope you are getting so now which is equal to 2 times 1 upon 4 n pi 1 minus cos of n pi is always equal to minus 1 raised power n so i can write minus 1 raised power n okay minus 2 divided by n square pi square sine of n pi by 2 as it is right now i should multiply this 2 to the whole term so 2 divided by 4 n pi will get 1 divided by 2 n pi 2 ones 2 twos are 4 that is 1 divided by 2 n pi multiplied by 1 minus minus 1 raised power n minus 2 into 2 is 4 so 4 divided by n square pi square sine of n pi by 2 this is your bn value now you have to put down this bn value in the given Fourier series so f of x is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 bn sine of n, n pi x so instead of bn i have to take down this value right so i can just write here f of x is equal to summation of n running from 1 to infinity okay bn value i have to put this one okay i will take 1 divided by 2 n pi okay into 1 minus minus 1 raised power n minus 4 divided by minus 4 divided by n square pi square sine of n pi by 2 okay this value i have to take and also there is sine n pi x in the series so sine of n pi x this is your whole solution for this particular problem i hope this is clear if you have some doubts, you can ask in the comment section. And thanks for watching my video.